Hi everyone and welcome to the last episode of our Let's Play Oriental Empires in Very Hard with the Sheen. Why last, would you ask? I mean, we're quite kind of far away from a conquest victory. Well, if you've watched the previous episode, you might have seen that I had a lot of UI issues. And I still don't know the reason why. I thought it was because of a late update, or maybe because of the uh, naval units. However, I did contact the developers and they couldn't find an issue, actually they couldn't replicate it, even when I gave them my game data. So, I made a lot of attempts to continue on this game, unfortunately the, this didn't make any changes. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to move a little bit more, but then we're probably gonna have to give up on the conquest victory and probably grab the son of heaven victory instead so don't worry we are gonna win this game for sure so we did um start a war with the minyue and i think if i conquer them i might have enough population or maybe just enough if i grow a little bit more around my area to get a conquest victory so my goal was to actually get sent some more troops over there which is what I've done and because I'm at peace with them right now I just want to put everybody in this city regroup have a nice two full stack here and then start attacking their capital or their other big city however I think we won't be able to finish that my goal as well was to settle more cities, so one here and another one up there. So with that we should be able to have a little bit more growth as well. I was thinking maybe a next step would be to start a war with the Han using my boats going over there. Maybe grab two cities. However, this is probably gonna prove difficult because of the UI issues I've been facing. If we look at my cities, they're all doing pretty well. I'm farming because I want as much population as possible. And in terms of technology, I'm grabbing the Muslim Trebuchet. And I was thinking probably going on to this if I want some more money. Or Tiger Tiger's Rocket Launcher would be nice and fun. In terms of craft, let's look at what we have. We can improve a lot of trade. Uh, however, even with a big army, I'm making a lot of money, so I'm not really interested by that. I realize that my culture is quite high, so I also don't really need to focus on culture. So what would be interested here would be increase the armor rating of characters by 10, uh, recruit some guard cataphracts, and then maybe add 10% to kill chests with bladed weapons. That's what I would do in terms of craft if I was to continue this game. Over there, uh, temples would be nice because there are some achievements related to them. Increase the authority as well. And for knowledge, which I think is where I would probably grab a lot of stuff. Um, I want to reduce a lot of the um, effects suffered by disease or um, other natural events. And then we would probably grab some more... Uh, naval units, even though they're kind of minor at, at the moment, nobody cares about them. Kung Fu would be nice, would be fun. Anyway, let's move on and see what's gonna happen. Let's send these back home. And you can go here and you both go back home. As you can see, there's already some little UX issues, UI issues. Units don't appear and the flag are really, really small. It's kind of annoying. Very hard to click on them. So let's spend one more turn. And hopefully I'll be able to pass one turn and we'll see how it goes. Speed things up. Yeah, I can see my boats moving, so at least that that is that. <laughs> And here we are. So I'm glad I managed to build some shipyards and everything. That was nice. 
do have this big army over there. Um, let's try one more turn. Nothing for you to do. And on the next turn, I think I'm just gonna grab my victory. Doot, 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 doot. Got five boats here. Let's get these units on these boats. Pretending like I'm trying to put more pressure on the minuet. Still cannot, can't settle anywhere. Alright, so let's do a little bit of diplomacy. Let's talk to the Shu are hostile with us, the Minue and the Han are polite. Let's see if we can get them to agree and recognize us as Emperor. 10,000 maybe? Good. Minue? Recognize me as Emperor, or you might not need 10,000, yeah. Let's keep some more money, 5,000. And the shoe. This might be difficult because they are hostile towards me. But maybe with quite a lot of money they're gonna accept. That's it. Okay, it's bribing. But now everybody recognizes me as Emperor, so next turn. Shang wants to attack, I don't care. Not time to make some diplomacy because I just won the game. Here we are, son of heaven victory. I'm a little bit disappointed. I really wanted to be uh, to reach a conquest victory, and I don't even have the more uh, victory points, which is a little bit of a shame. I'm third in culture, even though I didn't focus on culture at all. But not even more settlements than the Han. So I think with more settlements, I would have probably grabbed a conquest victory if I managed to get the Shu or the Min Yue with me. Um, and that's if I manage to continue the game for longer, which I can't. That's the thing that happens when you have an early access. Okay, so let's reflect a little bit on the game. At a okay starting position, I think that that's what got me the victory. Um, Shinyu was good, I thought Xiangyang would be great, but it wasn't. However, my expansion towards the west was very beneficial. I managed to grab Shihan, get this very nice trade going on, which gave me a lot of money. I was pretty safe. I think the, the struggle I had was, or where I struggled the most, was when I had bandits all over the place, plus the YD was, who were attacking me from up there, and then I decided to take on the Dongya at the same time, which maybe wasn't the best idea. I managed to push them back, they took a couple of my cities, I took them back. Once I secured these two guys under my control, it was very easy to take down the Sheng and the Ba, just because they didn't have any access at all to my city, so I had nothing to defend because of these mountains. I just push through here, grabbed all of that, and then because I was very strong and very close to them, they were actually fine becoming my vassals. And that's kind of when I know I won the game. I had like control of 50% of the population in the game. That was a very crowded area, but I managed to do fine. Then getting the dog wrong to agree uh, was very nice, very easy. The hardest bit would be to actually reach the hand and the shoe. The minuet, I'm sure I could have done it very easily with all these troops that are coming, if only the game didn't start to have problems. Overall, I think it's a very good idea to have a massive uh, big 
see in the middle because it just makes things a little bit easier to manage on your side. You don't have enemies all over, all around you. I think the map size is decent, might be a little bit too large, but if it was smaller there wouldn't be that many factions and maybe the game would be a little bit more boring. However, Conquest Victory is by, har by far the hardest one to get. So, you know, I'm not sure what, what I could have done differently. Um, maybe I should have sent more troops down there. That would have taken me like 20 turns and then reaching there. Mm. Probably the best move after the Minue would have been to slowly move onto the Han by from two sides with boats here and moving the two or three stacks I would have on the east side down there. They take them a couple of their city and they would probably would have agreed to become my vassal very quickly, I think. Alright, um, I don't think I've got anything else to say, really, um, in terms of edict. The very good one are obviously the one that makes your income become stronger. So anything about equal field system and everything. I didn't need any extra generals really, my cities were doing fine. Um, I think because I managed to build a few buildings in the end, my upkeep was quite high. But nonetheless, I managed to get a lot of money. I think, for example, this it's very important to have a few cities with kind of little to no building at all. Uh, that makes a lot of money, taxes mainly. Um, as you can see here, I've got a lot of buildings. I've got two cities with buildings. Um, which where I produce units, that was Xi'an and Xinyi. If I was to continue on that game, I think I would like Bo to become another place where I could easily um, spawn a lot of units. And I could get my boats and then easily send them to the Han. However, you don't want more than three cities producing units. First, because your money won't be able to handle more, more units than that. And if you have these two cities are kind of well placed because from Xi'an I can come and defend all of these cities, from Chini I can defend all of these. So I was very well protected. And also I managed to build a very nice trade network. So all of these smaller cities which were only doing farming and had little unrest problem were actually the reason why I was making so much money. So I hope you uh, learn a few things about how to play Oriental Empires in very hard. As you can see, I won the game in with a Son of Heaven victory. I wanted a Conquest victory, but I'm sure you can guess I would have done that if I had no problem with the game. Culture victory is the easiest by far. I didn't focus at all on it. Um, but if I managed to spawn a lot more cultural buildings, I would have got that easy. And points victory, well, I would have had to focus a little bit more on cultural as well to get that. Alright, I'm not sure if I want to do another series on Oriental Empires, maybe once the game is out, depend on the changes that will be incorporated. If you enjoy that Let's Play, please leave me a comment, that would make me really really happy, I worked quite hard on that one. Also please share and like this video. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you soon on my channel, don't forget to look for me on Twitter and Twitch, sometimes I do stream a little bit. I thank you very much for watching, see you soon in China.